The purpose of these questions is to help you identify different types of separation procedure. This first one shown here is called distillation. And that's a situation where you have multiple liquids with different boiling points and you boil them and because they have different boiling points, they become gases at different times. So they get separated out because they have different boiling points. So distillation works by separating due to boiling point and the right descriptive sentence would be that it separates liquids that have different boiling points. The example shown here is filtration. Filtration is where you have perhaps a solid and a liquid mixed together. And in order to separate them, you pour them through a filter, which is like a sheet that has very small holes in it that lets through one part, for example, the liquid part, but it doesn't let through the solid part, for example, here. So it will separate them based on whether they're liquid or solid or based on the particle size. So the one that it's separating for here is solubility because this, uh, this solid shown here, it must be insoluble in this liquid, which is why it's still a solid, whereas the liquid itself can go through. So what does this process do? It separates insoluble solids from liquids. In this example, we've got several things mixed together and we're using a magnet to attract some parts which are magnetic away from the rest of it which isn't magnetic. So the name for this is magnetic sorting and it separates items based on whether they're magnetic or not, based on magnetism. And a good descriptor of the process would be that it separates magnetic substances from non-magnetic substances. Finally, shown here is an example of chromatography. So chromatography is used to separate solids that have different solubilities. So for example here, these three dots shown here in this example are three different uh, types of ink with three different solubilities. So as the water travels up the piece of paper, firstly, the ink that was all together on this line dissolves in the water. And then as the water travels up, the most soluble inks travel further with the water, whereas the ones that are less soluble are going to be attracted to the paper more than they are attracted to the water. And as they travel up the piece of paper, they're going to fall out of the water. So because these three component inks have different solubilities, they travel different distances in the chromatography. So this one is chromatography. It separates things based on their solubility and it separates substances that have different solubilities.